confrontation in your contact center sometimes will happen. How we deal with these issues though is a trained skill that all of our middle management and supervisors must possess. What we wanted to talk about today are five strategies um, that we use here at Expedia for dealing with any type of issues that may happen on your contact center floor. Number one is supervisor respect. As a contact center manager or executive, it's your job to arm your middle management with all the tools that it needs to run their team. Do talk to them about uh, you know, greeting their, their reps as they come to the floor, um, about being dressed properly, about having a command of all the knowledge that is needed um, to run their team. If you have very high level, highly trained management, um, this will calm a lot of the issues that, that start to rear their head as the day goes on. The second strategy is understanding the expectations and consequences. When we train our middle management and also when we train our associates, you know, we go over the policies and procedures for what is to be expected on the floor, and if something falls out of that norm, what the consequences um, for that action are. The last thing that you want is your, your supervisor, your middle manager, or your HR professional to be the, you know, the, the judge and the jury um, on an issue. If something does fall out of, of line, there should be a, a, a written policy of, of what should be happening there. That will calm a lot of the, the issues and, and make sure that you know, people aren't being too subjective or, or choosing favorites. Um, so having a real set policy for, for what should happen if, if there's issues um, is a very important step. The third strategy is to never let a situation linger. We want to reinforce positive behaviors. So if something does happen inappropriately on the floor, we have to make sure that we address it immediately or that inappropriate behavior becomes the learned and the okay behavior. So if something does happen on the floor, we wanna remove that individual. Um, any type of conversation on, on the situation that just happened, we wanna do off the floor. Um, we, we like to say only positive things happen on the floor. If anything negative's gonna, negative's gonna happen, we wanna pull that individual. Um, if we need to do more of an investigation, we'll send them home with pay. Um, go through our, our investigation process and then again it comes back to our policies you know what are the expectations what are the consequences and everyone should know that so that way you, you start to reinforce the the trained behavior and learn behavior of if I do something wrong this is kind of what's going to happen so there's no sub subjectivity um, you know managers aren't making decisions um, we're just handling a situation and we're letting the policy do the work so that's that's a huge piece of the pie is making sure that you're, you're very structured um, and, and you're not allowing things to linger on the floor. The fourth strategy is for the middle management to really get to know their associates. So we keep all of our supervisors with the same team every single day. Um, when a rep comes in for work, um, they're supposed to be greeted. We talk about you know, your family, um, have some type of light chit chat. Again, we're not asking a, a, a rep to, to come out to dinner or have drinks with us, but just to get to know them a little bit more than, than just a, a work relationship. So. If you have that respect level that gets built up, if you know somebody a little bit more, you know it can quell and any of those issues that may arise during a day um, because there is a little bit more of a relationship than just a, a cold business, um, I'm your supervisor, do your job kind of deal. The fifth strategy is something we don't think about a lot, but, but it's how does our management manage their peers, right? Um, do you have a strong supervisor that maybe talks down about other supervisors? And that, and that can corrode some of the respect level for some of the other management in the team. Do you have interdepartmental issues that sometimes arise with, with your management team where they talk about maybe somebody from finance? All those things need to really be looked at. Um, the reps and the associates, they see all that. They see what is okay behavior. So if there's a respect level you know, between your management team and between the other um, areas of, of, and departments in your, in your business, that your management team respects, um, that will go a long way as well of, of calming any issues and making sure that we have a learned behavior that's a culture of respect. So I hope these strategies help you with, with any type of issues that, that arise in your contact center. You know, most of this is being very proactive, having very well-respected, well-educated middle management, uh, middle management that, that knows their team, that if anything does happen, they're gonna pull that person off the floor. They understand the policies and procedures with that. So, you know, if, if you put the time into your middle management, if you make them become really great leaders um, and understand what is expected of them, you won't have many issues on your contact center floor. I hope that this helps. Thank you.